वेलकम टू माय अलॉटमेंट एंड गार्डनिंग चैनल अप्रैल इज द मंथ वेयर वी सो लोड्स ऑफ सीड्स फॉर कमिंग समर द लिस्ट गोस वेरी लॉन्ग हवेवर आई विल ट्राई एंड मिनिमाइज इनटू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज एंड ईच वीक व्हाट कैन बी सोन एंड इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन इंडिविजुअल रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड माय एक्सपीरियंस गोस दिस वे let's start the first week of the april that means yesterday and today april 1st and 2nd i considered as a week 1 like this we get 5 weeks week 1 week 1 i prefer sowing my main crop tomatoes meaning i grow tomatoes outside the greenhouse in my allotment raised beds and i consider them as a main crop because i always them uh, you know in the end of august or maybe mid august until uh, november first week whereas my greenhouse tomatoes they are already sown and uh, you know they are growing i think uh, 6 to 8 inches tall now i'm going to put them in the middle of april uh, either in the soil in the greenhouse or in the pots in the greenhouse so the i generally prefer three different varieties of tomatoes one is the cooking tomatoes the big ones another is a cherry tomatoes for snacks and salads and even plum tomatoes we prefer for the snack and salad as well so three different varieties um, at least four or five different varieties of blight resistant varieties so that in case if there is any blight in your area or uh, in allotment uh, you know site at least you are getting away uh, uh, for those plants so that's my preference and i also do the backup sowing for these tomatoes in i think third week uh, you know end of third week uh, you know so in case of my first slot doesn't come in at least my second slot as a backup uh on the second week i prefer all my leafy vegetables directly sown outside in my raised beds for example spinach chard and uh, you know any other leafy vegetables like uh, dill fennel uh, you know all, all that uh, you know uh, i would say coriander and you know all sorts of leafy vegetables you can you know directly so outside uh, uh, the greenhouse in the allotment raised bed or in your garden because the soil temperatures will improve uh, uh, over the weeks so that's why i would say second week i start them because i tried this and then i've been successful i would say Uh, up to 80% are successful so that's why i'm recommending to sow all the leafy vegetables during the second uh, week of the april and i'm sure at least uh, you know most not all of them uh, some of them will will come out that's why when i sow uh, a spinach i put two or three seeds in the same hole so if not one the other one you know seed might be old and might not come up but at least one will come up so that's my strategy so that's so the second week and third week as i said i do my backup tomatoes and uh, you know uh, some of the other leafy vegetable and even the carrots you know i can do any time of the uh, april month outside you don't need to be indoor uh, carrots you know they will come up i already have like uh, five different pots and most of them germinated obviously i did it inside the greenhouse now i'm moving them out Uh, 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 so that they can have a fresh air and they can start seeing the outside world as well rather than having inside the greenhouse and fourth week of the april most of my melons cucumbers and beans and the plants like uh, beans and melons and stuff like that they need 5 to 6 weeks to grow properly before they go on a final position uh, for uh, rest of the growth of the plant so that's why i so my melons and cucumbers and you know most of the beans if you are doing the beans indoor or greenhouse you can start even second week you know they germinate in a week's time you don't need any heating or heat mat or anything for the beans or uh, you know they'll come up very quickly so that's how i do the fourth week melons cucumbers and beans coming to the last week of april i do my all my squash and pumpkins reason being they only need four to 
like you know four and a half weeks to grow fully matured plants so that the plant can grow in a final position or a ground these are the five different weeks and five different uh, uh, category of plants uh, you know i am planning to sow i'll go in a detail what different varieties of the plants you know the seeds i'm sowing etc uh, I, i'll go through a quick glance let us quickly go through the list of seeds i will be sowing in the month of april first week as i mentioned all these tomatoes i'm quickly go through the list you can see them here and all these varieties i'm going to sow them these are my main crop tomatoes and radish some flowers salad leaves spinach and lettuces and this marjoram and tarragon i went tried earlier this will be my second week sowings and some trough beans this initially they're going to stay in the greenhouse and they'll come out later some butterfly attracting flowers dill and some leeks spinach again in the second week and japanese spinach and red bean spinach and uh, palco and some salad leaves and the third week cucumbers so all these varieties of the cucumbers and these tomatoes these are backup tomatoes i'm going to sow in the third week just in case the first week one doesn't turn up properly due to any reason etc and sweet corn as well the third week of april i'm going to sow this and fourth week of april beans as i mentioned in that video all these beans varieties i'm going to do in the third week and sorry fourth week and these courgettes as well all these courgettes and marrow this is tiger cross i forgot the image and the wee little the tiny pumpkins we love it in the curry and melons as well in the fourth week and this is something called winged bean or asparagus pea i never tried i'm going to try this here and the final week which is the fifth week of april some brassicas for autumn harvesting and some salad leaves and you see the pumpkins i'm not going too many this year few and squashes all this squash varieties you can see all of them are squash i just need one or two fruit that's more than enough that's what i had last year they came out really well and finally i saw carrots almost every uh, five or six weeks two or three pots of carrots and that's end of april sowings so this list doesn't contain any asian vegetables i'm doing another video for the asian vegetable sowing in this month please watch out for it